Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Joe with Ohio Woodburner. Real quick before our video starts, we have officially started our online store and we're offering our merchandise for sale. You can have anything you want on our online store as long as it is this green iconic Ohio Woodburners t-shirt. Comes in all sizes, small through double X. It has our logo on the front and our slogan on the back, family, friends, Firewood. Send me a picture of you wearing the t-shirt. I'll make sure it goes into one of our videos. Also, all the proceeds from our t-shirt sales will be going to my daughter to help pay for her college. My oldest daughter has been the camera person behind this entire project and really she's the heart and soul of everything because I'm not the best speaker and she's responsible for making me sound like I know what I'm talking about. But wait, there's more. Uh, no, there really isn't more. It's just this t-shirt. Just this t-shirt for now. If you're interested, we'll put the link below. It's a secure website. You can buy it on your credit card. Thanks a lot. Really, the t-shirt sales is all part of our growth. This is something that just took us by surprise. And I would have never imagined our little firewood company getting this much interest. I really appreciate everything, guys. Now, on with our Sunday video. Yes, it rained last night. So I guess the hurricane uh, reaches Ohio. Now we just got rain and I know some of you guys really got it bad. So everyone here at Ohio Woodburner is thinking about you and hoping that you can make the best out of a bad situation. But the weather did break and now this feels like summertime in Ohio. In my opinion, there's not a better place to be. The weather is just gorgeous right now. There's sun shining, the humidity is, is reasonable, and the temperature is probably in the, in the low 70s right now. This is certainly a different kind of summer than what we've been having. It has felt like the Sahara kind of summer uh, with the heat and humidity. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get busy with the Yappa, but before I do, I want, there's something I wanna ask you guys out there that have been supporting my channel. This is not for me, guys. Have you noticed that there is a growing number of channels out there with young guys that are starting in firewood? There's um, that uh, Outdoor Pete, there's Whacking Axes. But the one guy I wanna mention, his name's Michael. He is running a firewood company called the North Gray Firewood Company. His channel is dynamite. Guys, he is, when you know when i think of firewood that's what i'm thinking and that's what he's doing he's up in maine and he's working with big logs up there he's running heavy equipment and he has a blockbuster firewood processor which um now his blockbuster machine is really big i was the blockbuster was on my short list when i was looking for a processor they're made in iowa they're a great machine and you don't see a lot of them on youtube but um his channel is new and he's just getting started out and I really think he's going to be a big player in our industry one day. It's just good to see the younger guys getting involved. And even if they do find another career as they get older, you know, that work ethic and the discipline that you have to have to be successful in firewood, you know, that starts at a young age. And I think uh, this kid's going to be great. I'm going to put his link in the description below. And all I'm asking you guys is please check out his channel and hit the subscribe button.
I've never run the six-way knife on uh, on one of the videos yet. So I'm going to put the six-way in and let you see it. I got a couple about seven and eight-inch logs coming up, and let's see how the six-way works. show you how this machine handles an off cut. We uh, want a 16 inch log. There's a measure on the back side. It's kind of hard for me to see, but you got to uh, advance your log until it gets to the 16 inch mark. And then I'm going to cut off and then that log's going to get thrown into the scrap pile. So this is my off cut. And now I'm left with a 16 inch log. So I close the hood, I hit the splitter, and then the log goes through.
that was about 30 minutes of running. And these were the smaller logs. I got some big ones that are coming up. And I'm, I, I laugh because I get some comments from guys like out west. You know, they're laughing because I'm calling a nine inch log big. <laughs> And, you know, it's just the way that I make firewood. I can, uh, I love these smaller logs. I can zip through them a lot faster. They're easier for me to move around. And those are the orders I have in with the loggers. I think the loggers kind of appreciate it because that's more money for them. That maybe logs that they're just going to leave behind that they can bring to me and I'll get them processed up. But this is, good heavens, this was uh, fast. And this was all beech and maple. And like... Ugh. Here's a beech log. Here's a maple log. You know, they look a lot alike, but boy, they don't split a lot alike. Uh, the beech is tough. You know, it's not stringy. It's just a tough wood, and it takes a lot of grunt to get it to split. Maple goes through pretty good. I did bring out the six-way knife this time. I haven't used it much, and, you know, it works nice, and I think it's good for those mid-range logs. I don't know. I, um... I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of like that symmetrical pie-shaped stuff. And, you know, it's got that, uh, that center section that um, is like they are different sizes in the top and bottom. That's just personal preference, but I still use it. The one thing to know, though, guys, there is not the perfect firewood processor. They're all good. They all do pretty much the same thing. You know, they cut and split wood, uh, but, you know, they, they all do it differently. And the, the model that I was looking for to make firewood the way that I wanted it is this machine right here, the Yapa 365 Pro, dynamite machine. But I know this is the absolute wrong machine for a lot of you guys out there. And, you know, that's why the market is filled up with such really cool machines. If you get a chance to check out Michael's channel, North Gray Firewood Company, Check out that Blockbuster he runs. He was emailing me about how his eight-way knife weighs like 150 pounds, <laughs> which is a little bit different than the eight-way that goes on this machine. Uh, but, you know, that is the kind of uh, wood that they deal with, so they had to get the machine that, um, that does that kind of job. So that's it for today. I really appreciate everyone watching the videos and leaving your comments down below. This has been a lot of fun. While we were running this machine today, filming this video, we just got notification that we reached our 2,000 plateau with, um, with subscribers. Guys, 2,000? Are you serious? It was just a couple weeks ago I was thanking everyone for our 100th subscription. Guys, I really appreciate everything. And I think it just shows how powerful this firewood community is. There are so many good channels out there, and I'm just honored to be one of them. That's all from our wood yard today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And don't forget to like this channel. Remember, we post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Everyone have a great day.